The year was 1897, one of the coldest and deadliest in maritime history. But the men aboard the Belvedere didn't know what they were in for, or that scientists more than 100 years later would benefit from their tragic voyage. Every spring, ships headed up the west coast, following the sea ice as it melted back into the Arctic. They were hunting bowhead whales. Their blubber was used for oil, their baleen for women's corsets. It was a booming business. Some say whaling was more lucrative than the gold rush. For the Belvedere, the whaling season of 1897 was going great, until September. A big sheet of sea ice came down out of the Arctic Ocean and pinned the Belvedere and six other ships against the coast of Alaska. That left 200 men trapped in the Arctic as the winter set in. Two nearby ships sink and all the men pile into the Belvedere, 150 men in one ship. They're running out of food, so they start shooting seals and polar bears. Some get scurvy. One sailor has such a bad case of syphilis that he commits suicide. But what's the one thing they do every day to hold on to their sanity? They keep a weather diary. Through the frozen winter months, the whalers aboard those ships took note of the temperature, barometric pressure, ice location, and wind directions in the ship's logbook. And it turns out, data like this is valuable to climate scientists today. They're gathering it from thousands of old whaling ship logbooks, like the Belvedere's, and plugging it into a big computer program to recreate historical weather patterns and compare them to the way things look in the Arctic today. Bottom line, if you were a whaler today, it would be highly unlikely that you'd encounter the same treacherous ice conditions that the crew of the Belvedere saw. But what happened to those guys anyway? 16 of them died. After 10 months trapped in the ice though, the rest of them were finally free. But instead of heading home, they went right back to hunting whales.